All right, take two because my camera just fucking decided to melt in the middle of my recording. So uh, let's do that again from the top. So uh, I actually brought over my life size Poplio plush, trainer size, life size, whatever you want to call it. This one is from Japan. I bought it secondhand. You can see his head kind of is weighted. They don't they don't come with a shirt. Obviously, I gave him this little shirt. It says, "I'm ready for my vacation, surf, sun, and fun." And there's fucking palm trees on it. And he's adorable. He's huge. Um, it's very obviously a scaled up version of the mid-size plush. This is just two pieces of fabric sewn together, but there's no stuffing inside really. There might be foam actually. I'm not sure what I'm feeling. It could just be the fabric. Uh, his nose is not soft. <laughs> it's a different kind of like felty fabric. Um, back wearing his shirt but the back flippers are flat as well Boop. he doesn't have a paper actually I think I took off the paper tag or it came separate so I, I saved it um, and he's a little dusty because he's just been sitting on display in my uh, in my room here this is the smaller version the uh, pokey blush this one actually a friend of mine purchased for me from a GameStop in the States um, because EB Games, the Canadian equivalent of GameStop, got fuck all. Uh, they usually never do. And uh, there are no Pokemon Centers here. This was before the Pokemon Center website would be willing to ship to Canada. So it was basically, you're fucked. I, it was easier to import from Japan. So I actually have, this is the US one. He does have the US tag. And this one is a Japanese release. It's the same, literally the same design, same same pattern, same everything. He doesn't have the paper tag. Um, usually he's sitting with the big, the big boy here. He's just a he's a headrest. And let me move this guy. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> that's that meme. Um, I think that's one of the few plush I have both the English and Japanese release for the same plush. I try not to do that just usually there isn't any difference besides the tag so I don't care uh, this I actually shouldn't have started with this one because I believe this one is a factory reject he, he does have a Pokemon Center tag on his bum he doesn't feel like he's full of needles or anything but we put him beside him and they're the same pose he's got his head up this one is naked. This one is not. This is the, uh, this one was exclusive to the Sapporo Pokemon Center for the release of their, I guess for the mascot and for Alola, because there was Poplio, there was Rowlet, there was Alolan Vulpix, uh, all that good stuff. We have the adorable tag, and you can see the Rowlet Snowball. I took the Rowlet Snowball off uh, both plush. There's actually someone in the community who collects Rowlet, so I'm like, hey, let's trade, whatever. So they got the Rowlet without having to buy the Poplio, and I got the Poplio, and I didn't need the Rowlet. So this is the smaller keychain. I took the, there's like this huge chain like hanging off this thing, and I'm like, no, <laughs> let's take that off. It's bigger than, it was longer than the plush itself, but there's both the little keychain version and the bigger, bigger small plush and the the naked version, I guess. I'm going to slowly grab a few of these. Now these ones, I believe, were also released in the in the West. Can't remember what they call them. It's something stupid though. Um, these are the lying down plush. That's that's what you call them in English. <laughs> um, I believe the Western U.S. website calls it like. Kutari cuties or something and I'm like just pick a fucking language y'all So here we have adorable tag art. I don't know if they kept the adorable tag art on the on the Western releases But there's the awake version and the sleeping version and the bodies you can kind of see they're a little understuffed and I don't know if my camera's gonna Pick up the noise, but he's full of little plastic pellets It's got that beanie baby feel and you can just flop them on top of each other or just, you know, flip them over, whatever. 
and they're adorable. And they both have our, one of them is awake, and one of them is, whoops, asleep. I didn't mean to tap the camera. I'm still trying to figure out the camera setting on this thing because it has like four, count them, four cameras. It's a little, it's about three too many for me that I need. This is the Poké Doll keychain plush. I actually have two of these. One of them is a travel buddy. But this one is complete with the tag, including adorable art inside the tag and on the back. The tag is actually probably bigger than the plush. <laughs> so, he's adorable. And the fabric is really soft. And the little neck fin is just two pieces of fabric. I think glued together, but it's still very soft. And he's got those big, 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 big pupils. Let me see if I can find... Because I, I did all this before, and then I threw him in a pile behind the camera, so... Now I've got to find him again. <laughs> oh dear, I can't find him. Where is he? It's a sea of blue back here. But, um, I'll dig him, I'll probably dig him out later. Uh, this, I guess we can go back to the Pokemon Center plushies. This is the, this is the, uh, keychain version of the massive tag. Uh, I think the US version has a plastic clip instead of the ball chain. So this is, don't talk to me or my son or his brother ever again. That's what I'm going, with. actually, you know what, I'm going to leave them all together here. <laughs> like that, so you can see them. We have this guy. This guy's adorable. He sits. Oh, is he gonna? No, he can't. He can't actually balance very well, I guess. But he'll sit against something. And he has little arms out. His neck fin is just a piece of felt. But everything else is soft except his ears also felt. And he just is a flat butt with a little dimple on it, and you can just and just sit him like this and his butt tag just says chill because I think these are uh, there's like fucking 12 tags on here pocket monsters shokori san I think that's what it says don't yell at me if it's wrong though because I'm still practicing my katakana skills <laughs> um who else do we have out here We've got prize plush, Ben Presto prize plush. This is uh, one of the few prize plush Poplio got. This one's waving. His, uh, oh, he's a little dusty. His ear and hand are stitched together. This one can move freely. He is adorable. He's slightly less soft than the Pokemon Center plush. So, this one was called what? Uh, Pocket Monster Sun and Moon. Nuibirumi. That's it. That's all it says. So, no shit. It's a Pokemon Sun and Moon Poplio plush. I could have told you that without looking at the tag. I think I've got two of those wavy guys. So I'll put him over there too. And this one is another prize plush. Another Bam Presto prize plush. And this one is Pokemon Sun and Moon Koroto Menmaru Nuigrumi, which I think means something like big rolling head. Uh, I have po I have Digimon plush from obviously a different set, but the same style. They have the same name. I think it just means they have a big they have a big head. That's what the gimmick is for this set. Um, again, the same kind of not that soft fabric. Still cute. Still still adorable. Arms move. Little little butt flippers. Or feet flippers are stuffed, they're not flat, so he's cute. And maybe I can get these two big guys. If I could find the other one. I think he fell off. We fell off the edge of the pile here. <laughs> Hold on. I got him. Alright, so we got this one. That was one big honking schnoz on the camera. Whoop! I'm just gonna stick him right in the camera. And then I got this one, and they look exactly the same, except this one is the Ultra Sun and Moon. Um, he's got that little emblem that they, that was in the anime, but I, I can't remember what happens. They like transform and do random shit. 
Power Ranger style. I, I gave up watching the anime. I, I can't remember what happens. I need to get back into watching it. I was watching it. I stopped watching the anime after... Fuck. <sighs> Orange Islands. I watched a bit of Johto and then... The anime just kind of fell off the radar. All the voices changed and... You know, the stations changed and I never really got back into it. So I have the... Uh, anime in Japanese with subs, which is an interesting experience. But these two are basically the same. This one is just called... Let me grab his bum tag. Oh, you can even see this one actually has art on it. God damn. They really pulled out, pull out all the stops for this one. There's Rowlet and Poplio, and they both have that, that little uh, emblem on them. And this is Pocket Monster Sun and Moon, Dekai Nugurumi... Mokuro Ashimari uh, Ultra Ultra what? Oh, Ultra Guardian's version. Okay, he's an Ultra Guardian. Like Ultraman, but that's copyrighted, so it's not Ultraman. It's not Ultraman. <laughs> I don't think they're fighting Kaiju. They are fighting giant, ugly uh, Pokemon, though. Not Poipol. I can't remember what... All of the weird alien-looking legendaries i don't pokemon's not for me anymore <laughs> i know i'm not the target demographic but i'm going to say i don't like it i don't like those designs um Pablo is adorable though this is one of the two tommy plush that got made uh in the west before tommy stopped making po pokemon plushes and all other merch i think they lost their license or it expired I don't know how that stuff works I do have another the other one where did he go where did you go there's some 90s for you that's all I'm gonna <laughs> sing from that but he may have he may have rolled off my, my my bed here this is this is live from my bed that's not him that's not him where did he go for real <laughs> I don't know where he went. Oh, here he is. Okay. So there's this one. He's kind of standing. He's, his mouth is open. He's looking to the side. And then there's this one. He's happy. He's His head is facing forward. Uh, he's made of, I think, th these Tommy plush are made of the same fabric as the prize plush. They're not super soft. And here we have the names in all the languages. Popolo... Otakin, which is French, and Robal, which is German, for Poplio. I believe the same thing is on here. Yes. Pop, pop these pops on the other side of the pile here. This is not official. This is the Ollie Factory plush. They make plush of random shit. Like, stuff that isn't even Pokemon, Pokemon fusions, I don't know why they're doing why they make all these random things but they do this is an actual popular it's, it's not based on any official plush so it's not like a one-to-one -one bootleg but it is obviously unlicensed so in that respect it is bootleg so it's pretty pretty decent i guess he does have his little tail fin he's got big flippers his neck fin cute smile, whiskers, everything you'd expect from Papio. And I've got this guy. This is the Takarotami Japanese plush. It is very soft. The fur fabric pile, I guess, is pretty, it's longer than you would expect. He's really floppy. Um, there's plastic pellets in all four of his flippers, both the front and the back, he's wiggle, so he's got, you can flop him around however you want, and he's adorable. I actually have two of these. Who's next? Oh, here you are. So here's the polka doll, polka doll sized polka doll. He is bigger, he has ginormous eyeballs, and still has the same cute art on the tag. That's the little one. So, let me flip that. No, wait, he's looking to the side. That's what this art is. He's looking to the side. 
So we got two, two pops. I think this is probably one of the smallest pop wheel plushies there are out there. Small. And the, the, the back flippers are not stuffed. They're just empty. Empty two pieces of fabric empty. Same as both versions are like that. So. This is the wavy. No, this is not the wavy boy. He's got his eyes closed. So he's a different one. I don't have the tag on him. But he is a prize plush. His arm is not sewn to the side of his head. But it is still, I guess, stitched in a way that it would stay up and he's got those happy happy anime eyeballs so that's another prize plushie this is a pokemon time plush which is in a similar style to the poke dolls it's again with the big big pupils he's actually made of a fabric that feels like suede it's really soft but there's no like pile to it and he's just holding his face like oh my god which is adorable. Uh, Popular only got the keychain plush. He did not get a full size plush. That makes me sad because that would have been adorable. And this may look familiar, but it's not. <laughs> you can put them together and be like, hey, that looks familiar. But no, this is the uh, Sane All Stars collection. This is the Popular keychain. I took the chain off his head. I think he had a giant chain on his head too. And I finally managed to find the small plush version. He's sitting in Japan right now. Can't ship to Canada currently, but that's another one down. This is the Pokeball plush. These were randomly packaged in plastic Pokeballs and uh, basically blind bag hell. But look how freaking cute he is. Look at that. Look at that face. He's soft. He's detailed, he doesn't have flat ears, he has his little fin, and he has his little tail. And he's just curled up, because he'd be like squished like this in, in the Pokeball. And the rest of the ones in the set, of course, Pikachu, Rowlet, Litten, uh, Eevee. Eevee's like sleeping. I'm holding this. I keep forgetting the camera's on this side of the phone. Uh, Pukamuku, Mimikyu, Alolan Vulpix, Poipol, and Zeraora. Don't yell at me if I got any of those wrong because I gave up on trying to pronounce Pokemon names correctly. Alright, so this, this one in the front. Actually, you can't even see it. They're so small. I'm going to tilt the camera a little bit. Because they are too tiny. This one, I picked up uh, IRL in a local Walmart. It's the Pokeball plush by Wicked Cool Toys. They were the ones that got the Pokemon license after Tommy expired, or they lost it, or I don't know how that shit works. Uh, you can see he's got a tag, it says Pokemon and WCT. And he's, I don't know, he's all right quality. He's got a, just a felt fin, his ears are also felt. The eyes are printed on the fabric. They're not stitched on. It's just like printed on. Same with his mouth. So he's a little, little tiny plush. Oops, he fell over. And this one has a really long tag. And this one I picked off off uh, picked up off of Ally Express. And I was like, hey, I know Ally Express is sauce, but I was like, hey, that looks familiar. Is it the same? Is it different? Because sometimes, sometimes, you know, um, there are, I don't know, prototypes and stuff that end up on websites like that, and you never know. So, it was cheap enough, so I bought one, and that's what I got. The only difference is the tag. So, these are the Chirin, Chirin? Hold on. Hold on, let me check the tag on that. These are the... Ch Chidi Man plush. And you can see Pacquio on the left there has flowers on his little mane. These are made of like, it's not soft fabric at all. This is like, I don't know, nylon? It feels like a jacket. <laughs> it feels like a waterproof jacket. And you can see his little fin 
has flowers on it, flower accents. I think that was kind of the theme with this set. Uh, this is the slightly bigger, actually no, this is the smaller one. This is the smaller one. He's got a keychain, a bell, and a flower. And there he is. And then this is the bigger, slightly bigger plush. And he's made of the same material. He's got stuffing in his feet and his ears. The fin is not, but it does again have the little flower accents on it. And I believe all of the popular plush I have do not have plastic eyes. They are all sewn on, or in the case of those tiny plush, they are just printed into the fabric. So there is the 20, 20, 2021 plush coming out in February. That's just called, um, I think the set is just called I Choose You in Japanese, so it's like Kimi wa something. <laughs> My Japanese is not that great. Um, but that's coming out in 2021. It's also by Takara Tommy. It's a Japan release. I might have to grab it off of um, Amazon Japan because it doesn't seem like my usual places have them up for pre-order. This that I've been spinning around is the Wicked Cool Toys uh, clip-on popular plush. This is actually inspired by the art, this art, that is on. I, I don't know why they didn't just switch the tag art because this is the art that plush is based on. And this one is sitting down like like this one is so I don't know this is a wicked cool toy small plush they never made a big one I know there were like 12 inch and 24 inch versions of other Alola Pokemon like beware and Mariani I don't know if I've pronounced those right um, and I was just kind of bummed out that I don't know if any of the starters got bigger plush I'm sure Pikachu did Pikachu Envy over here. Not envious of those collectors though, because Pikachu's like cancer. It's just in every set, everywhere. But yeah, I actually have one of these uh, on my work backpack, so I, I always have a Pocleo with me <laughs> when I go out. And next, this plush is from the 2017 uh, Japanese Pokemon Center Lucky Bag. This was exclusive to the Lucky Bag. You would get either Popplio, Rowlet, or Litten. It would be a tiny plush like this inside of a mug, and that would be exclusive to the bag. And then also in the bag is just a random assortment of Pokemon merch from that year. I think that's what they do. They just, you know, it's like end of line stuff. They're like, yeah, we don't, we're clearing this shit out. Let's just stick it in a bag. And, you know, it's a deep discount, but it's, it's giant blind bag, really, so... And you get a cool tote bag. I actually have one. Um, it got ripped, though. I actually brought it shopping with me, and whatever I put in it was too heavy, and it ripped, which kind of makes me sad. Um, so this was actually sitting inside the mug like this. Um, it's a unique pose, I think, for a Pop Leo plush. He's got his feet out, little feet flippers, like this. There's no stuffing in them, so he's just kind of standing up like this. His flippers are stitched together. And he's made of a kind of a curly fabric it's it's soft and adorable and turning curly up to 11 is this guy this is I think it was called the moco moco plush which I think just means fluffy which is accurate because <laughs> it's fluffy um, and he's got little plastic pellets in his back feet just the back ones not in the front ones. You can... Oh, there's a couple in there. Not not as much as the other, the other's fluffy but slightly less fluffy plush. This guy. This guy's like super flop. Like you can flop him however you want. His arms just flop around. His little feet flippers flop around. He's super floppy. This one not so much. He does have some sense of structure, I guess. But he is super soft and super adorable. Uh, he only has his little butt tag. He doesn't have a paper tag. I picked this one up off of uh, Ruten. I think that's a Taiwanese website. I don't know if he's some kind of reject or if it's just secondhand and someone was selling it. I don't know how, how that stuff works. 
so don't ask. But I'm pretty sure that it is legit. Uh, this is the Poplio keychain plush from the uh, Oishi Mizu collection, which is death just means delicious water. That's what it means. Um, I'm pretty sure delicious water is what the name of the item is in the Pokemon games, but I think it got changed to like refreshing water or something in English. Or it might just be bottled water. I can't remember. It's been a bit since I played at least the original game where you go to the top of Celdon to the vending machines. But this set featured like these. Uh, it's a slightly different color than what Poplio usually is. We just grab literally any pop. You can see he's a little lighter. Um, his eyes have like Pac-Man pupils. I don't know what that style is called, but they're different. They're, they're blue pupils. His uh, whiskers are blue as well. It's all like blue, kind of accented. And he does have this little tail. There's no stuffing. It's just curled up against his body like this, and he just hangs out. And the chain is blue as well. Spin him around. He did have a... pretty sure he had a tag that was like bigger than him, so I just... I think I just popped it off. Because it had cute art on it. I was like, I don't want this to get damaged. <laughs> Who's left? I don't know. I think... oh wait. We've got this guy. This is the Suya Suya Friend. I think that just means sleepy. It's an automatopoeia. I don't know how Japanese automatopoeias really work. So again, my Japanese isn't that great. Um, he's very soft. He's very squishy. Um, I believe plushies that have this sort of fabric and stuffing combination are called mochi, which is, it just means soft and squishy. Uh, mochi is also a monster from Monster Rancher because uh, he looks like a food called mochi, which is, I think it's a rice ball with a leaf on top. A mint leaf? Don't quote me on that, though. I don't know. I know less about Japanese cuisine than I know about the language, but this Pocolo is adorable. Uh, did have a bit of trouble getting him. I did originally pre-order him at Hobby Link Japan, and they overbooked themselves, and they're like, hey, we're canceling your pre-order, and then I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, finally picked him up off of uh, Yahoo Auctions recently, so um, that's another one off my I guess collection bucket list. I believe that's everybody. Um, the only ones I'm missing to my knowledge are the Western Toy Factory Popio prize plush. Those are from uh, arcade crane games and you know carnival prizes, that kind of thing. And the either release, I don't have the Halloween Popio, which is um, it's just Popio and his nose is a pumpkin. I think that was the only change uh, to his 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 costume. <laughs> and I think that's everything, to my knowledge, um, at least of official plush from the West and or Japan. I don't know very much about any other uh, releases outside of that, uh, you know, elsewhere in Asia, Taiwan, Korea. Um, I know, at least, you know, back in the day, um, South America and sometimes Central America would get their own releases, at least of, like, Digimon plush. I know there's some really weird looking, I, I guess they're Mirage plush. I don't know if they're official, but they're really wild looking. I don't know if any of that still exists, if they have their own releases still. Um, I lied. I got one more. <laughs> this one, I actually did pick up again on Ruten, which is a Taiwanese website, but I believe this is a Korean plush. The tag says... Whoop, it says third round. I don't know if that's actually going to come up on the camera. Third round. But he is made in China. And he's got beans, plastic beans, pellets. And he has full arm mobility. It's not like the Pokemon Center plush. You can actually flop his whole body around. And it's great. But I think he's the only Korean plush I have. Um, and outside of that, I don't think I have any others. So... Uh, if any of y'all have some hot tips, let me know. Leave a comment or at me or wherever the hell I post this, let me know. Um, that would be great. Thanks for watching. Bye.